Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Friday's trade end of day's uh, trading session for the uh, Friday 12th of May 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, in terms of the European markets, we certainly have shaken up yesterday's US market weakness. Uh, also, Asian market wobble as well in the Nikkei, although the uh, Chinese markets were strong. The uh, European market certainly finishing very stellar, especially in the last few minutes. The FTSE up for 50 points almost, 0.7% back to the, uh, the, the, the actual highs. Uh, the German DAX up 60, 70 points towards the end of the session. The French CAC ripping higher as well, along with the stock 600. So, impressive buying power towards the close. Very, very impressive. Uh, it's as if the... Uh, can't get enough of uh, European equities at the moment, okay? Even with the US retail sales coming in weaker, inflation coming in weaker. Uh, also, we had the um, euro ripping higher as well. Still not uh, un unable to uh, cause a, uh, a halt in the European equities. Also, a talk, uh, reference with regards to uh, the uh, ECB potentially tapering and, and raising rates mid-2018, yet still fails to deter the equity market rally. Also, we have oil prices weakening as well, certainly falling from the 48 to the $47 level. Okay, so impressive, impressive to say the least, especially with Euro and GBP moving higher. Okay, now let's look at the actual uh, uh, economic data as well. Uh, let's quickly go through that. We had uh, industrial production out of the Eurozone, certainly weaker than expected. Retail sales weaker than expected of the US. CPI data from the US certainly on the weaker side as well. Although Michigan consumer sentiment did come in slightly stronger, uh, business inventories came in more or less in line. And we have the Baker Hughes oil rig count coming out shortly in the next 50 minutes or so. Okay, now let's see exactly where the actual indices finished. Now, German DAX, uh, we did have a bearish engulfing candle. It certainly negated that. Okay, certainly has negated that. Moving on to the 60 minute chart, we had the HS formation. That's certainly been negated as well, given the fact that we've broken above the FIB 75%. So, Certainly seems that the bulls are back in control again, okay? Uh, for now, let's just see, let's expect the resistance at 12.780 to hold, and then we'll see exactly how the market reacts thereafter. Looking at a, uh, even the, the bear flag certainly has failed as well. I mean, we're looking at consolidation here, and then looking to potentially crack and break lower for that potential gap below, and that certainly has been negated too, okay? Moving on to the 10-minute chart, let's just look at a 10-minute chart. Certainly a... Uh, uh, going lower to potentially close the gap at uh, 12,710 and then obviously ripping higher breaking the key resistance zones above now That's a very very bullish move towards the close. Okay, you do have resistance here Okay, at 12,770 then obviously 12,775 And then 12,780 so watch out for those resistance zones above okay in terms of the uh, French CAC Let's just quickly look at the French CAC again. You can see that rip higher towards the close Looking at the daily chart at the moment, still bearish engulfing. Uh, certainly, that candle certainly does hold uh, some some weight. We are still consolidating with it, unlike the German DAX, which has ripped higher. So just bear that in mind. 60-minute chart at the moment, you have resistance above at 5415, and then resistance is seen at 5440. We'll see whether or not we can close. For now, we're still looking at a lower high. Okay. Still looking at a lower high, folks. Okay, right. Resistance here is seen at five four ten to five four fifteen. If that breaks, then five four four five is next. Okay, so we've certainly bounced off that pivot low at five four fifty on the French CAC. In terms of the FTSE 100, let's just bring up the FTSE itself. FTSE has surprised me. I mean, AstraZeneca, yes, you can attribute a lot of the gains to AstraZeneca. But nevertheless, uh, the FTSE itself has rallied from that pivot low at 7100 up to 7450 now. And that's very, very impressive. That 350 point move just from uh, mid uh, towards the end of April. So from the. Uh, 20th of April low, OK, to the. Um, 12th of April, I mean, almost 20 days, and you've rallied 350 points in the FTSE now. You do have resistance in the FTSE at 7440, and further resistance at 7445, and that will be the key resistance zone for the FTSE for now, okay? 
and we'll see if we break above that 7450 then we are going to all-time highs in the FTSE so bear that in mind okay you were certainly looking at your weekly chart we did break lower we retested okay we've bounced and now we're at that key double top scenario and we'll see whether or not the FTSE can actually break higher okay all understand okay now in terms of the next potential um, uh, our index we're looking at euro stocks okay so euro stocks certainly moving towards the late part of the session still inside bar though bear that in mind unlike the uh, german dax it's an inside bar so certainly showing some strength here okay 60 minute chart previous support equals resistance and therefore looking for a move lower looking for lower lows and lower highs to continue Okay, I think that's a good summation of European indices for now then. Weaker data from Europe from my understanding, although German GDP did come in more or less, well, slightly below expectations at 0.6%. Okay, but uh, you, did, you did have uh, French uh, non-firm payrolls actually coming in stronger as well, so that certainly supported the rally to a large extent. Okay, but nevertheless, uh, US data certainly is weak. We have concerns with the political concerns with regards to Comey firing. And now Mr. Trump threatening Comey not to uh, leak any information, etc. Certainly doesn't bode well for, uh, obviously, the US markets going forward. And therefore, I'm maintaining my bearish bias for now. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your training needs. And certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.